in different types of scenarios. We assume the role of an IT management team tasked with securing an existing network and closing up as many threats as we can find. Obviously, we don't compete using real hackers or real personal computers. <laughs> But the skills we learn can definitely have real world effects and we can definitely use that when we grow up to get a job and make sure we can protect. And as I stated, I'm part of the team Iron Crabs, <coughs> consisting of six members that range through one sixth grader and eighth graders. Um, our team was fortunate enough to be able to make it to the national semifinals on our first year of competing. So it was a big accomplishment for us. Um, we have a second middle team, a middle school team called the Walruses, mm -hmm. consisting of eight members, and a high school team, not nicknamed, consisting of three members. Thanks for listening to me, mm -hmm. and here's Wyatt Ashley. Um, this is a picture of the middle school teams. Um, and in regular competition, we're in one of the rooms in the high school competing for eight hours. On each computer, there's different images or copy computers on the computer so we can change and make it more secure but if we make a mistake we're not ruining a computer um, but we're scored uh, instantly throughout it so we can know our score at the end um, then we have a portion that's networking the networking part is a little complicated uh, we use Cisco packet tracer to make um, little networks and try to mimic them. In a competition scenario, we would be given a network and told to set it up or to fix some of the problems. Um, Cisco said by 2022, there is 3.6 devices per capita. Um, that's over 28.5 billion devices, and most of those will be connected to the internet, and all of them will have to be secure for different information. So recently, our, the two middle school teams have created a YouTube channel that everyone can access. All the videos on it are made, edited, and posted by members of the team. And our goal for it was to mainly help anyone that needs to, that wanted tips to stay secure with their daily lives as well as other Cyber Patriot teams that wanted some tips. Thank you for your time. Cool. Thank you, especially to Mr. Throne, who was supporting us throughout our entire journey. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. I appreciate that. And, um, I'll just say that um, back in the day, I happened to know your grandpa, and probably already there's a few things that maybe you could teach her. So uh, keep up, keep up the good work. <laughs> some questions um, yes. if you're if you're like me we had um, we came into this we we all know about cybersecurity or we think we know a little bit uh, these three and this is diversa know a lot more than all of us I know that did Natalie do you want to share a little bit about our teams and the process <coughs> and maybe some of the accomplishments of the team this year sure I was actually surprised the organization suggests you wait a year to start competing but we were given a grant, so I'm like, oh, we'll start this year, why not? <laughs> and we, I mean, I was just, well, I mean, I, I have belief in my students, but I was shocked when we placed, we're looking at the board, and like, we're in first place, and everyone's getting excited, and it's a little, you know, because you could see it all real time, the competition, it's all online, and we're competing with people from all over the country, and even um, North America, or um, Canada too, so it's pretty amazing. And a lot of <clears throat> schools are contacting me you know, how do we start it at, because there's no other Oakland County uh, school that has the separate security team. So it's pretty neat that we're trying to get other schools on board and we can collaborate and work <coughs> with each other because what they're learning, it's all research-based. So I, we brought in um, a professional, a mentor, and um, even when they ask questions, we have to search it ourselves because we don't always know all the answers. And um, that's what the students, and, yeah, and these are my three um, above and beyond awards I gave to them because they just continued, they didn't give up. They kept searching on their own time 
and because um, there's so many parts of the competition, you are trying to secure practice images, and then you're doing another competition with networking, and the team has to learn how to use their time wisely because there's so much to do in that little period of time. So they're learning, you know, how to work as a team, networking, just amazing. And, um, I also wanted to thank the high school for their support because we go over to the high school, the middle school takes the bus over to the high school, and the tech support has been amazing there, um, including our tech support here. Um, Kurt Meyer has helped me as well, you know, and it's amazing. Wow, the kids are yeah, doing some pretty cool stuff here. Yes, they are. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, with um, Mr. Weaver also helped us with the grants, and we had a lot of support. <laughs> Great. Any, any questions? Okay. Not so much a, a question, but a comment. I, I, I'm, I'm excited to see uh, this team starting up. I, you know, I, I think you guys already understand you're, you're developing uh, real marketable skills. Um, I, I love the presentation. You're, you're speaking my language. I live in the IT industry, and uh, so this is something that, uh, that I live and breathe every day. Um, so, it, so it's exciting to see. Uh, young guys like you um, really diving in and, and enjoying what you're doing. So, you know, with, with Internet of Things, um, uh, communication devices really expanding right now, um, we, we need, we're going to need guys like you uh, with these skills coming into the industry. So, um, uh, I'm real proud of you guys. I think, I think what you did here was great. Nice work. Thank you. Thinking, I was just, you know, I know you guys don't say through the whole board meeting, we make a lot of comments at the end, so I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew. Uh, congratulations. So, I know my kids have taken Mrs. Diverse's classes, and she's always kind of on the brink of all the cool stuff. And uh, you guys really did a great job presenting, and I'm, I'm really proud of you guys. You guys should be proud of yourselves. That was awesome. Really good job. Yep. Uh, what kind of background would you suggest somebody has before they get into it, or if they just interested? Can they join your team? I mean, how do you how do you recruit? Mainly interested in computers is what helps. Uh, we most of us, I believe, in the program just had an interest in computers and learning how to protect computers as well, and then that kind of just got us all interested into it. Okay. No, and no, uh, I didn't know that statistic of three point six units per capita so that means four devices each person is connected to and wow and the lack of cybersecurity we have you know right now because i think they're just starting to develop programs now like certificate and associates programs uh, for this but it's a, it is an, it's an amazing field to get into constantly changing um, i'm glad you guys are excited by it and I hope that you can get some more students involved. Good job. Good job. And an up-and-coming threat, too, um, the self-driving cars that right. they're trying to make, they've been proven on multiple ways hackable in right. a lot of aspects. So that could be super dangerous if we don't have security on those. So that's what we can do. Awesome. I'm, working with, I'm working with those people working on their cell phones. <laughs> They're actually, available, Chad. I've actually driven those cars before. They're actually, it's pretty slick. But, but like you say, the, the, those cars have to talk back to the data center like, you know, thousands of times a second. So we have to make sure that that communication is always secure. So that's what this, that's what this is doing. Comment. Yes. So why do we have two teams? Uh, mostly there's a lot of people, and okay. if we have all in one, isn't there, is there a maximum pro team? Yeah, uh, okay. there's too many people. So. I'm just wondering why you really combine your superpowers in one. <laughs> <laughs> but then, I think that gives you the opportunity to, to test each other. Yeah. So now you have two teams and you can kind of like set up scenarios and test each other out and screw each other better. Yeah, scrimmage, <laughs> right. We actually, um, we started, they, we can only have six on a team between two and six on a team. And so I was like, well, I don't know how many people we're gonna have here. So we had um, one high school team and two middle school teams. And the high school team did well, was, uh, did well. They scored the top 50% in the nation out of 2,000 teams. So they did a really, really good job too. And in the middle school, uh, they were competing against each other and looking at the scoreboard. And, um, because the second team, they, they were second place. 
uh, for our first competition and then they kept, you know. So it was really neat. Right. And when I said that the um, other team had eight members, we actually have two alternates. Um, and a lot of the times they kind of help our team out during it. If there's somebody not there or somebody had to leave for a small period of time, we have an alternate to fill in. So when you go to a competition, do you have to bring your own hardware? or is it all set up for you already? Oh, we do it in a computer lab at the you hospital. Lab. Oh, okay. The company gives us the images that we have to download onto the computers ahead of time, and then they give us the code. And as soon as you activate the code is when the competition ends. And there's different images. Um, there's practice Windows images, Ubuntu they're learning, uh, server images. So basically, similar to what they put on our computers here, the school certain images that you have access to different apps. It's similar. Okay. Do we have any girls on our teams? Yes, we have three rock stars on our team. <laughs> and um, yeah, yeah, cybersecurity, the organization, we found out later through research that they offer, if you have an all-girls team, it's free admission, so you don't have to have. Um, so we're working on that for next year. Very good. Mr. Drum. I would just like to say, uh, Natalie, I appreciate you uh, being an example and willing to start something new, take a chance, and uh, I really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. on, on Mr. Crone's comment there, the easy thing would have been to just wait a year. But our eighth graders only have an infinite amount of time, right? And that year, could be the difference between them getting involved in this or getting involved in something else. So that's why we really push the envelope to, to do things in a controlled environment so that we can give everybody the opportunity. So thank you very much uh, for, for believing in our students and uh, leading them in, the, in a positive direction. Appreciate it very much. Okay, anybody else? Jack, anything else? <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Jack. was in the language in the top, so um, we really all learned a lot and we're really appreciative of Natalie and the, and the team. So thank you for your attention and your interest and of course your support. I do want to let you know that at Oxford Middle School we finished the PSAT 8 today. We only had um, 11 students that we um, that were absent today. We knew where all of them were and it was a really good uh, testing environment for our students. I look forward to seeing their scores because I, I know that they've been well prepared, but um, our staff was very well prepared today to handle teaching sixth and seventh graders and welcoming our sixth and seventh graders in while the testing was going on for eighth graders. So unlike the high school where um, school, you know, some students just don't come to school that day, um, on the testing day, we, we did a balancing act. So our team led by Christy and Carl, um, Anna Summers and Heather Thick did an outstanding job. So uh, we're kind of breathing a sigh of relief tonight because um, that part is over. We're on to M step uh, tomorrow. And um, yes, piece of cake. Yeah, piece of cake. That's <laughs> yes, piece of cake. So, uh, but welcome to OMS and hope you have a good evening here tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Item number five, Board of Education Matters, Graduation Alliance. If uh, Mr. Delsandro, if you could go up front, and Guy, if you could come up front as well. We want to recognize uh, two more of our Graduation Alliance graduates tonight. And so the first person that I'd like to announce and have come up is Michaela Amundsen. Congratulations. Awesome job. And 
And our second graduate is Nira Marshall. Thank you. Michaela, was there any speech that you wanted to give? Or? No. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank Congratulations. you. Yeah. Well done. Okay, great. Item number six, curriculum and instruction, Mr. Weaver. Thank you, Mr. Weaver. Usually this is where the game clears out, but <laughs> <laughs> stay for me and this presentation. Okay. Finance and operations, Mr. Throne. Yes, I'm doing this for Mr. Barnett tonight. So uh, before you, we have a recommendation for action, mm -hmm. and this is to approve our uh, moving vendor for the summer's bond work. Okay. We have a motion, Chad. Move to approve Corrigan Moving Systems as recommended by Clark Construction for moving services in the amount of $74,745. Support. Support, Mr. Foster. All in favor? Or, I'm sorry, discussion? Can I just make a comment? Because yes. I, I missed the last meeting, so I had contacted Tom about this. I just want to make sure I, I understand this before sure. I go, because it's a lot of money for moving. So he explained to me that this, because I read the board packet, but it wasn't really clear on that mm -hmm. either. So we're going to pay this company. They're going to come into the different schools as we're doing the construction projects and say, like, they did the library. They would move everything out and, like, what pod store it or, or do what with it? So it depends on the building and it depends oh. on the room. Oh, okay. So some rooms, uh, teachers will be uh, boxing stuff up and will just be moving things within the room so that they have access. Other rooms will be totally gutted. Some of that material may be stored in outside containers. Uh, other things that are more environmentally sensitive, like computers and things like that, will have a combined area like a media center or a gymnasium or that kind of thing. And uh, those items will be stored there while that room gets gutted and fixed and all that yeah. stuff. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. The last thing under uh, operations is just I want to uh, let everybody know if you haven't heard already that uh, congratulations to Sam and all those that he enlisted to, uh, to help him put the safety grant uh, together. Uh, we were notified of our award and it was in the amount of four hundred forty two thousand seven hundred and seventy three dollars so uh, just awesome work it's really going to help out all of our buildings and we are really excited to uh, put this money to good use so just wanted to publicly announce that very good okay. there's a question on there sure. for clarification i did read the letter but i just wanted to go over the, um, this is a matching grant, mm -hmm. so um, we have that 442773, and we are matching part of that grant. Could you just explain that briefly? 25 percent, so okay. roughly a little over a hundred thousand okay. dollars. And quite honestly, we we had more than that budgeted that we were going to spend anyways, and so. Uh, yeah, this is just going to let us quadruple the amount of work that, <laughs> that we can do. So Great. Yeah. Thank Tim, you. do we have a, a list of needs, wants? Yes. And does this 442 plus our 25%, a little over $100,000, does that cover that needs and wants, or is there anything over and above that, that uh, moving forward we would... Obviously, security is one of those things that happen that, you know... Yeah. It's great today, and then you have to rethink. So I'll, I'll put it this way. Does it uh, check off everything on our list? No. Does it get us way farther down on the, the piece of paper than, than not? Absolutely. I also think that security, quite honestly, from this day forward, is just going to become an annual line item in our budget, and that we're constantly just going to 
have to throw resources at it to um, to try and keep on top of it. Will we always spend this amount of money? No, we won't. But I think it is something that pretty much, yeah, from, from this point forward, we'll, we'll always have that in our in our budget that we're going to have to be spending something. Okay. All right. Thank you. Anybody else? Item 8, Human Resources. Mr. Pass. Happy new this evening. Okay. Item 9, Student Services. Moving right along. Item 10, unscheduled audience participation. Are we going to slow this down in case she comes? We can... Is she on her way on her way? or She was, she, the last contact I had with her, she was going to come tonight to the board meeting, but that was, um, that was prior okay. to the break. Um, it was, it was tough to get a hold of her to begin with. So okay. She, she, she worked, so there could have been a, a change of work, right? I just want to make sure that we didn't adjourn yeah. and she shows up. Yeah, absolutely. But I do, I, I, I know the family very well, okay. so I will make sure, you know. I want to make sure she gets her diploma. Absolutely. Oh, that's yes. guaranteed. Okay, very good. Unscheduled audience participation. Anybody? Shall we? <laughs> Scheduled activities. Glasses on because these are some good ones. Mm -hmm. We have uh, all the capstone projects coming up in May. Uh, OVA and OSEC commencements, Bridges commencements, high school commencements, all coming up in May. So, mm -hmm. board members, just double check your calendars. And if you haven't already, uh, we received an email with our gown requests. So, for you, Board members, make sure you turn that in, or you might get a gown that fits me that Mary <laughs> put on. So, oh, there they are. Look at that. See? Yeah. I'm not gonna adjourn. Hey, Hi. I'm right up front here. Right up front? Yeah. Yeah. I think Mr. Coca has something for you. Let her mom get her phone and stuff out. Yeah. 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 You ready? Get ready. So under um, a new line item, unscheduled activities, we're going to actually go backwards a little bit. And I would like to introduce to everyone Nira Marshall, and congratulations on her diploma through Graduation Alliance. Congratulations. Thank you. My timing has been perfect. <laughs> it was good. All right. Clarification, item 12. None. None? Final board comments. Mary. Congratulations, Michaela and Nira. I just love seeing these students coming through, getting their diplomas. This is a really super great part of this job. Um, and congratulations to the cybersecurity team. I uh, was a a couple years ago, I went through the Leadership Macomb program, and that was one of the really big pieces that we learned about is the lack of training in cybersecurity, and all of us were so connected, we really don't understand how vulnerable all of, all of us are, uh, personally, and um, everything that we run on in this country. Um, well, we do know when our Windows update keeps going through and going through, we can't run our computer, and gosh, what do I do? So. Um, congratulations for everybody and, and Natalie for stepping up and, um, and getting involved with that. It's so exciting. Um, I want to wish safe travels to uh, Oxford High School Band and Orchestra programs as we travel to New York City, leaving tomorrow morning, which I get to go on that trip I'm excited about. And um, just a shout out to high school robotics team who are competing in Saginaw at Saginaw Valley State University in the state championships this weekend. Uh, you can find us on ESPN3, we are Team 2137. Um, so um, I really don't believe in luck, so I just, uh, I see that their robot's going to do really well and our chairman's team is up for an award, so um, it's going to be a great time. If anybody wants to cruise up to Saginaw, it's a nice little drive. Um, that's what I'm going to do. Is that, is that covered by um, 
the state champs show as well. It, there's a couple of online programs that follow that. Uh, There's like RoboZone. Yep, they do a very it. good job with that. It's usually the state champs is the sports channel, and they cover like from football to softball and everything. But they really do a nice job covering the robotics competitions. Um, I, I I saw it last year and it was like, wow, this in, in Oxford was on there. So it's it's good to see if you get a chance. It's, uh, it's on Fox, so Fox Sports Detroit. There. I'm excited to see what we're going to do with over $400,000 worth of money for safety. I think that's great. It's one of those things we should really be proud of ourselves for. We'll put it on the website, let our constituents know. Uh, I think a lot of good things are going to come with it. Um, and just uh, just a pat on the back to Daisha, I heard that she was mentioning her testing today is a real big deal that that went down well the first time. So. My wife came home and said, oh, it was a great day. <laughs> she was organized and uh, hit every mark, so I'll let her know on my way out. That's all. Chad. Yeah, so I guess welcome back from spring break. I hope everybody has some warmth. I, I didn't go too far. We just went to Kansas to visit K-State, but that was a good trip. It was a reality check sitting at the tennis courts about an hour ago, freezing on top of that. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it was good. The, the girls are playing well and um, enjoying cold. But um, so, congrats to uh, to San Mara team again. Uh, uh, safety, right? Uh, you know, Tim, like you said, uh, security from from this point forward is really going to be a moving target. Um, but I think this uh, this cash is going to it's going to get us a nice head start. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. And um, uh, congratulations also to Michaela and Nera. Uh, proud of them for uh, graduating that's that's great news and, and of course again I, I think you can see I'm, I was excited about the, uh, the cyber security program it's it's uh, it's great to see young kids getting excited about that um, being a geek today is not the same as it was when we were kids it's uh, uh, in my opinion it's something to be proud of um, so I, I certainly wear that badge of honor um, but uh, that uh, cybersecurity in and of itself is it's, that's a growing portion of the uh, the IT industry. So we need more people um, with that skill set and aptitude. So um, excited for those guys. Heather, good. Yep, did all <laughs> short and sweet. <laughs> that means I get your time. You get my time. Oh. I know you will use it. Well, uh, Daisha left. I think she thought it was, you know, time to go. I know she's got a long ride. So, um, Guy, you know, it's always good when you come here because you've always got a positive attitude, a positive smile, and, and uh, our, our students that come through here, we we should be proud of. I see Aletha sitting there. Um, our students, no matter where they are, they're our students and to get them through the process at their pace, and to get them through to a diploma, that's really why we sit here. It's unfortunate that we have to spend $442,000 on security these days, because it takes away opportunities for you to educate kids, no matter what level they're at. So some days it's trying, some days it's difficult, but I want you all to know that we're, the board is behind what you do, and it's days like today when we have two graduates that, quite honestly, we might not have had a graduate. So appreciate the effort because I know it's every day is, there's a different challenge that that's presented. So great job to both of you uh, and your teams. So please let them know that uh, the board supports them and will continue to support them as we move forward. Um, but since security is an issue, I'm glad that we were able to write a grant to, to get us uh, that much needed money. Um, and uh, I look forward to hearing on how we're going to fortify our security here in the building. Um, and then last but not least, I'm glad everybody's back from vacation safe and sound. Um, it wasn't such a good story for a friend of mine, his uh, nephew, uh, was in Switzerland and was skiing and, and uh, went over a cliff and, and he passed away. So 
you know, uh, we read, I was just texting Tim the other day, we, we should count our blessings every day that we're able to do what we do and uh, we're able to uh, teach young men and women. Um, so, and then the cybersecurity team, uh, it's great, you, you said it, Chad. There was a negative connotation about being a geek and uh, there should never be that, uh, that feeling these, these kids are gonna be some of the most sought after mm -hmm. people in uh, the, next, the next workforce as we move forward. Um, you know, you, you pay a bill on your phone, you don't really realize, and it's, it's, you're just doing it for a matter of convenience, and your information's out there. So, uh, you know, it's, it's great to see that we're offering that, and we're touching everybody that we can. And, and, uh, so with that, I'm grateful for your time, Heather. <laughs> Thanks again to the middle school cybersecurity team for their presentation. Um, I think I'll just take a couple of minutes and expand on something. So a lot of times when I'm at a, uh, a superintendent's meeting or maybe when uh, I'm at a community event, some people will sort of say it this way, and i got to be careful how I say it. Why, why do you always gotta be first in Oxford? Why do you gotta do this? Or why do you gotta be that way? And so I think tonight is a good example. It's not about being the first middle school cybersecurity team. What it is about is offering our students cutting edge opportunities that we didn't have yesterday and, and having uh, the staff and the employees willing to take chances and start new things and try new ideas and do things not for the sake of doing them but at the end of the day for for providing a better education for our students and so that's what it's really about it's not about being first at something it's about doing the right thing for the right reason so uh, yeah I'm just appreciative for uh, Natalie for sticking her neck out and giving it a shot. Very good. That's all we got. All right. Just want to make sure we're not missing anything. Oh. Oh.